We first had the Giants facing off against the Astros in Houston, completing their three-game series. The Giants jumped out to an early 1-0 lead in the first inning, but that would turn out to be their only run of the game. Bregman came through with an RBI single in the fifth inning to tie it, and then the Astros' offense took off. Martin Maldonado put the nails in the coffin in the sixth inning with a three-run home run, giving the Astros the 5-1 victory and the series win as well. Next, we had the Rockies and the Diamondbacks finishing off their three-game series in Colorado. Much like the first two games of this series, the games were full of offense. The Diamondbacks ended up winning 13-7, and the two teams combined for 30-plus hits, much like their previous game two in this series. Starling Marte seemed to be the toughest out in this one, as he collected three hits and four RBIs on the day. Nolan Arenado had three RBIs himself, but it was not enough to beat the Diamondbacks, who seemed to have broken out of their slump, winning the series against the division-leading Rockies. Lastly, we had the Padres and the Dodgers going at it in LA, completing their three-game series as well. This one was one-sided, however, as the Dodgers won 6 to nothing. Justin Turner put this game out of reach with a three-run shot in the bottom of the eighth. The Padres did win the series, though, two games to one. Now moving in, into the division standings, we have the Rockies atop it with a 12-6 and six record, and they are now 6-4 and four in their last 10 games. Underneath them, we have the Dodgers, who are 12-7 and seven right now, and they are only a half game off the lead. Next, the Padres sit there at 11-8. and eight. The Diamondbacks are in the fourth spot at 8-11. and 11. And lastly, we have the Giants in the fifth spot with an 8-12 and 12 record. Today, we only have one game on the slate, and that's the Padres facing off against the Dodgers in L.A. This one will be an exciting series to watch as both these teams are battling for the top spot in the division. This game will start at 6.40 p.m. Pacific, so make sure you tune in for a great division matchup. With only one game tomorrow, we have one matchup to look out for, and that's Corey Seager going against Chris Paddock. Seager's back in the lineup, and he's had some great history against Paddock. Seager has six at-bats against Chris, and he has three hits. In two of those hits, they were doubles as well, so look out for Seager to dominate Paddock again tonight.